Hello, I'm John Frausto with Top Spin Tennis. In this video, I'm going to show you six magic moves to the emergency slice backhand. The video is packed with a ton of tips. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video because you want to hear what the secret is to the finish. Enjoy the video. Have Grigor Dimitrov, video shot at 240 frames per second. I was playing a practice session, but I wanna show you why I consider this an emergency situation. Really three variables that I'm looking at. One is his balance. It's not the best. Look at the stretch. He is going wide and he is in trouble here. The other is the court position. I consider this an emergency situation because he's making contact out in the alley. So that's not good. And then the other is just the uh, contact point. Look at the arm, it's stretched. He's stretched here. He should be a little bit more connected on this shot. Magic move number one is the split step. Essential, especially when you're gonna be in a compromising position. I always want those feet to be wider than shoulder width apart. Check out that right foot, it's gonna push off and he's ready to pursue this incoming ball. Magic move number two is the intuitive movement to the ball. This is really a mini sprint to the ball. Watch his feet, he turns, he is on those tiptoes, the heels don't even think about touching the ground and it really is just a mini sprint to the ball. So keep that in mind, it's intuitive but if you're struggling with your footwork or you feel like you're just like lethargic on the court, tell yourself to get on those tiptoes and double your footwork. Magic move number three is the setting of the left side. I wish I could take credit for this, but I can't. You've got Chuck Tomlin and John Carpenter of Congruent Tennis. I'm going to put their link down below. But what does that setting of the left side look like on this slice backhand? You're going to see the racket head. Check out that position in relation to his actual head. So it's gonna be, the strings are actually facing the in, are gonna be, that's the contact point, are gonna show to the ball. He's also in a power position, and what I mean by a power position is I'm gonna draw some lines from the racket to his hand, hand to his elbow, elbow to his shoulder, and look at that. It's actually like we make a box here. So he's in tight, he's compact, efficient, ready to hit this incoming shot. One other position I really like is that shoulder and chin should be engaged here. They should, uh, the chin should be looking right over his shoulder. Magic move number four is the approach to the ball. And look at how he starts to the inside of the ball. So check out the hand in relation to the ball and that racket head. He is inside the ball and ready to approach. Now by having this racket head high, he is going to utilize gravity and get good momentum to the ball. Keep that in mind. You also have to stay relaxed. You cannot be tight when you are in initiating this shot. Stay loose, use gravity, check out the position too. He's in a bent position, he's in a straight arm position. So you're gonna go from bent to straight on this shot. Let's check out the contact point, magic move number five, and this is going to be true for, for all slice backhands. You want to utilize either the middle third of the strings or the upper third. If you make contact with the bottom third, this racket face will close and the ball will go into the net. Check out the flight here. So the ball is rising. And then when he hits, check out the ball, how it comes off the strings and it's lifting. That tells me he had a slightly open racket face and he hit with the middle to upper third of the strings. Magic move number six, and this is the reason why you wanna stick around to the end. On this backhand, you've gotta engage your back muscles. Notice Grigor with the bilateral movement of the arms, they actually move opposite of each other, right? It's almost like he's an eagle here and he's gonna take off for flight. Watch the arms. See how they spread apart here? But he's engaging these back muscles and his thought process is to bring these shoulder blades together. So see that, he engages the back muscles, bilateral movement, shoulder blades come together. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button and notification bell as well. Thank you so much for your support. 
Enjoy your day.